we've taken the cell bar frame out of the starter they've cleaned it up and it should smell a lot like the beehive so we're going to take out the cell bars there's about 15 queen cups on each one of the bars and we're going to graft into the cell cups queen cell cups our starter colony is just over there and they are wondering where their mommy is so we're going to give them the resources to make a new queen we've got uh, my makeshift grafting table here this is the grafting tool and it has a little tongue on there to pick up the larva out of the cell with I've got some some magnifying glasses reading glasses and then I also have a flashlight we'll uh, take the frame with day old larva in it out of the box that's come this frame has come from our breeder queen it's the breeder queen laid eggs in worker cells and we're going to take out the fertilized larva the fertilized eggs in the worker cells have produced uh, worker larva so we're going to take that out so typically when we want to remove bees from a frame a beekeeper will just shake them off right give a little a little jolt and the bees will come right off we don't want to do that with the frame that we're going to graft from because it might push the larva to one side of the cell and then it will be harder to get the tongue of the grafting tool down inside the cell and remove it so I want to use the bee brush and take them off gently with a bee brush you can move you can shake them gently just a little bit but not very hard don't give it a jolt it's a little bit unnerving or distracting anyway to have bees crawling on you while you're trying to graft so we want to get all the bees off of there many of these bees are are just emerging from their cells so they're not inclined to sting you, they're not uh, too, too worrisome, but they are a little bit of distraction. We have on the cell bar about 15 cell cups, so we're going to have a total when we're done of about 45 of them. I'll put this other frame in there so those bees will have something to crawl on until I can return the other frame. Alright, this is capped over brood. You can see some of the bees on there are just emerging. So typically as the, the bees from this generation emerge from their cells, the queen will come back and lay eggs in the empty vacated cells. And so if you're looking through a colony to find one that has just the right age larva to graft, a day old, a frame like this is typical. You'll see a ring of, of emerging brood and empty space in the middle. There should be eggs around here and some day old larvae near the center. Sometimes they're so small you can't tell whether you got them on there until you drop it off or not. Yep, I got one. It's easier to pick the larva up from the round side of the C instead of the open side of the C shape. And then when you set it down you withdraw the tongue and let the larva slide off there gently without straightening it out. That one, I, I didn't get it that time. It wasn't on, it was so small, even with two and a half times reading glasses on, sometimes I can't see them.
we go. We got it that time. Gently set it down so it's still in the same position that you took it out. Still curled up in a C shape. How do you keep track of which one you just put in? Uh, I just have to look one back. You can put your finger there or put something to mark it, but I don't. I just look and make sure. Would it hurt the larva if you stopped once it's out and then I took a picture of it on its little tongue? No. On the grafting tool? No, it won't hurt it. it we, it'll be okay. Okay. Let me get one. Uh, let me find another. Just the right size. You want the light on it? Um, let's, let's see. Kind of hold it still. You hold it more this way so I can, yeah, just so it's over the dark background, kind of. And that is not. Okay. Go ahead and put it in there and okay. take it. One of these has got to work. Are you missing your event, Alan? No, I'm going to go in in just a minute. Okay. You got everything you need? Yep. Do you, you have the Chinese tools? Do you want those? Um, I'm just using this one. We'll we'll try one here in a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that one, though? This, uh, I, I can do with either one. I've got... Uh, so you're good with what you got? I'm good with what I got, but... Okay. No, I'm just... Uh, missed it. And that one flipped over. I can't use it. Is this yours of something? Um. Oh. Nope. Is that yours? Oh, yeah, I had that. That uh, that was the syrup. I had the syrup in there. Okay. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Yeah, All right. Have fun at the party. Hope we didn't make you late. So that one we put all the brood in, in a couple of weeks, that will all be emerged and they'll be old enough to be really good nurse bees. So we could use that in a couple of weeks for another starter. So there's six frames of brews that we added to that. So it should be booming here in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. We got, where did all these bees come from all of a sudden? Out of the way, please. All right. Are you getting? Do you want to uh, picture behind me, or you got? Uh, well, I think I got that one. We are down here. Uh, no, nope, missed it. Sometimes I can't even see it on the end of the grafting tool. Are you still recording? You're taking photos. Mm -hmm. Recording. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get this one out. Has this one is a little bit too big. But I, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot easier to see and it's easier to pick up because it's got more jelly underneath it. Thanks. Just for a second. Okay. But it's a little bit older than I would like to graft from. If you were to graft this one and the other ones are a day younger, then this one's likely to hatch out first if you didn't get there in time and kill the other queens. Yeah, so don't use that one. You just put it back in, or it's just done. No, it's done. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know if it survived or not. That one's a little bit smaller. That one's okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Too many bees crawling on the 
frame here. This is why you do this in the cab of your truck. So the bees, so with, with the windows rolled up, the bees can't find you. I think I smashed that one too. I'm gonna try again. All right, we got it this time. And if I can set it down, picking it up is only half the process. I gotta set it down without, there we go. Now it's still in the C shape. I think we'll be fine there. All right, before I finish the other two cell bars, I'm gonna put this in its frame and return it to the colony and so they can be feeding these. It's getting cool in the evening. I don't want the larvae to get too cold or to dehydrate. So let's get them back to their nurse bees as quickly as we can. And then I'll come back, graft another one, and uh, keep going. go. In this part, Stan puts the grafted queen cells into the cell starter colony to show how quickly the bees are going to cover them and begin working on raising them. just about 10 seconds of being in the hive we can see that those queen cups are already covered by bees and they're going to go to work on them right away. They're excited to have a queen in the cell starter colony. Next Stan will start grafting into the second cell starter frame bar and once all of the queen cups have a day old larva in them, he will return that to the hive. It's important that the larva not be away from their nurse bees for very long. The nurse bees constantly feed them, so we just do one bar at a time so that we can get them back into the hive as quickly as possible. All right, that's it. There's the last one on the last cell bar. Let's go put it in, and we're done grafting for now. Notice how many bees are covering these cell bar frames and the queen cups just since, just in the time it took for us to graft another bar. Stan attaches the cell bar back into the frame. He first has to move some bees out of the way but then he will slide it in there and place it back in the hive. He'll come back in five days to check on the status of the queen cells that the bees have drawn out around those larvae that we just gave them and then come back on day 10 to remove those bees from this colony and put them into their mating nukes. <laughs>